Hi, good evening and welcome back. It's a Wednesday evening and today I think I will go ahead and continue this Versus series that I started last week. I don't know if I can do it forever, but um, we'll have one this week and I have one more topic for next week. I mean, I'll probably talk about it next week or whenever. Next week is slightly tricky. I need to see how I can come up with these videos, but yeah. So the Versus topic today that I'm going to talk about is job versus career very interesting uh, topic that came about in a training that i'm attending starting today it's a three-day training it's about uh, manager enablement uh, enablement training uh, this was supposed to have happened um, very early in the year itself but uh, for whatever fortunate or unfortunate reasons that we all know of uh, it couldn't happen it was supposed to be in class training but now it's become a virtual one so instead of like a three full days now it's like three half days anyway the key thing that um, uh, is being thought i mean um, the main agenda of this whole training and also about uh, the fact that um, what was discussed today was uh, how well you can enable your reportees and uh, in the initial um, i would say like icebreaker session uh, there was things that was told like uh, what is that one thing that you really appreciate about your uh, manager and one person came out and spoke about uh, this whole thing about how her manager enabled her to decide and define her career instead of doing just a job now let me explain you what she meant or how this matters a lot i mean this is I mean, it's, it's a known thing, but again, having this job versus career, that phrase thing defined, it's, it opened up so many avenues and the whole thing about Indian mindset, okay, the Indian parenting mindset, Indian education mindset, all these things started like buzzing around my head and uh, all those stuff. You know, none of us, I think, I mean, I would say most of us engineers, we never end up in a job in a stream of engineering that we do okay let me take my own personal example i am from instrumentation background electronic instrumentation background kind of like having like a dotted line uh, connection with aviation industry and instrumentation instrumentation industry and all those stuff and the job that i am doing now or rather the job that i picked up is related to software I started off my career as a software engineer, a manual testing person, automation person, tech leads and all those stuff now ended up being a manager, everything in software. So none of these things that I've worked on over the last 15 years, 15 plus years, I would say, is something which I studied in my four years of engineering. Now, if you observed, I used the word like the job that I took, the job that I'm doing. But if I really had pursued my interest in instrumentation like in fact like i really had an opportunity in nal national aeronautics laboratory uh national aeronautics laboratory i don't know why it happened so for a, a for something like a more technical career a more hardcore one uh, related to instrumentation itself but I don't know, heavy-headed me, I thought like working in a government firm that this and all those things and money associated with it, like so many factors drew and I was like, no, I want to become a software engineer because that was the in thing during our um, graduation times. So I never took up my career in the field of the engineering that I do and that's the case with majority of the people, it's a majority, most of the people uh, who you see in software engineering thing are not really somebody who would have done computer science or information science i mean people who really do they go into a different stream of software engineering itself they are the guys who <clears throat> who get into all the startups and blah 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 stuff and all those things they're like they kind of shape them into um, their careers into something more technical more innovative more uh, again as i told you startup get up kind of a things but most of the engineer guys they start looking for a job and instead of defining their own career path now okay that's one part of the story now the second part of the story is after coming into the software field how do we shape our career okay in um, kind of like um, IT industry terminology, we kind of say like, uh, do you really want to take a technical career path or do you want to take like a management career path? 
now this happens probably around like in services industries it happened like maybe around five six or seven years of experience itself but when it comes to product uh, companies like what i work in i mean it takes about 15 years to reach a decision point whether i want to pursue my technical career path or the management career path now even here in um, what do you call it as like a management career path like you have like a technical management you have like business management now once you come here again you have career paths inside the software industry we know that okay we didn't pursue that the bigger career thing which is again the core stream about it or electronics or biotech or whatever okay but once you come here there are career paths here also but a lot of people what they do is they don't decide they don't know what to do they don't know which direction to take either they stick to one or they just keep they make a drastic decision on going to some other thing and they just spoil their whole career and that is exactly where i think this whole manager thing comes into picture like a manager needs to sit and speak to you he would have analyzed like okay you are good in certain things you are not good in certain things you are improving here you need to improve that and then give opportunities or give clues to the resource to figure out what is that he is good at like is he really good at technical things is he really good at people management skills and all try to ship him up there and if he is really not good at technical but he still wants to take a technical path there is still an option do some enablement things get get him on to some trainings and all those stuff <clears throat> so this is exactly what we have been th- uh, been taught over this next three days and we have been told to uh kind of say like work on our uh, resources like talk to them figure them out enable them make sure that they are in the right path so this is the whole thing that i want to talk about this whole thing about the job that we do and the career that we want to follow so very fascinating very interesting and i just realized that why didn't i think about this whole versus thing in the beginning because you get into a job that's you think that's the end of the world but once you get into a job if you are not enjoying your job that means you are not in that proper career path that's what i would say i mean that's a, that's the best way i think i just, it just came it came in a fly but if you are not enjoying your job that means you are not in the right career path so that's an indication for you to go and think twice whether you want to continue there or you want to switch and go to something which you want to do so like at this stage i've been given an option do i want to continue in more of like a technical management position or a business management position and this is i mean i think i spoke about all this mentorship thing and all over the last two days so this is where i need guidance from senior folks from the industry from the company to tell me what is right what is wrong what is my strength analyze tell me about it and talk to me and shape me okay and as i told you i'm not decided on whether i'll go for that mentorship or not whether i'll go with whichever path this require time these are not not overnight decision these are not the thing i can say like next week i'll come back and answer this but um fantastic points that got discussed today uh, very interesting training that i'm going through and another two more days to go and lot of var- people with varied experience and interest and enthusiasm level and all it's good to get into such training like it's been a while uh, but uh, it's really fun and uh, fascinating to uh, get into such training and talk to people and um, get to learn from them okay anyway that's it what i had for today it's like i'll i'll come back with next week again if possible and talk about one more versus thing and uh, this is i'll i'll let you know the topic also it's called communication versus meeting okay or maybe i'll, I'll do that this week itself depending on what is the interesting that uh, interesting thing that we uh, bump into uh, in the training over the next two days but that is also a very interesting one that i thought i'll talk about so that's it for today i'll talk to you tomorrow take care bye bye